What's going on everybody? I'm Jiffy Nano and welcome to another Borderlands video. Today we're going to go over the Borderlands 3 hotfixes for January 30th, 2020. Today is January 30th. This should be the end of the scaled takedown event and the um, farming frenzy event. So if you like those, I've got some good news for you. So f so starting off, today, we'll, today we will release the hotfix for Borderlands 3, which will be live on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC by 3 p.m. PST. This hotfix activates the rare riches chest event uh the rare chest riches event that uh, uh addresses drop rates and implements a permanent scaling for the takedown of mallow on black site to apply hot fixes wait at your main menu it'll say hot fixes hot fixes applied on the sign behind your character uh address a ticket whatever and then a couple of bug fixes activates the rare truck rare rare chest riches events that is a hard thing to say which runs till february 13th um Increases a chance to receive legendary loot from the red car truck chests. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, an address and issue reported that players could sometimes rise into the sky with the cannon during the one man's treasure mission and a moxie's heist for the handsome jackpot. So, straight down to true takedown mode. This is exactly what I wanted when they talked about scaling the uh, takedown for player, however many players are in the game. I like, I like the idea of being able to play it on the hardest difficulty so they're doing they're implementing this we've been looking for, for to, at the feedback we received during the scaling event for the takedown and decided to make the scaling event permanent starting today in the february update we will include a new switch to re-enable what we call true takedown mode true takedown mode will restore the takedown to the four player experience that it launched with for extra difficulty once implemented a lever Activating true takedown mode will be located on the right side of the door leading out of the airlock at the beginning of the map. So this is really cool. I'm glad that they're uh, making this scaling permanent because this was unattainable for probably 90, at least 90% of people playing this game. Um, not everybody can, like, just... Not everyone can, can, can feasibly take this on by themselves, and not everyone has four friends to play with, so... Uh, I'm glad they're doing this, and I'm glad they're making it so I can still try it in the hardest. So pe you know, people who want to can still try it at the hardest difficulty. Uh, that being said, most build videos I'm probably going to base around the the scaled version because most people are going to be uh, just running scaled versions or with their friends. So, rare spawns and drop rates. Once the farming frenzy event is over, we are implementing a permanent change to the rare spawns and drop rates. After analyzing play patterns, we are permanently increases the spawn rate for these enemies and have buffed their drop rates and their anointed chance to be on par with bosses. This is good. There's a lot of rare spawn enemies that drop that have big loot pools and dedicated drops. And it made it a giant pain in the butt to uh, farm for stuff because they didn't drop their thing all the time, nor did they spawn all the time. So it was like, you know, a double layer of RNG. So that's good. Um, I would like to see just a permanent anointed anointed buff chance or whatever, because uh, all these anointed un, all farming for perfect anoints is a giant pain in the butt, and they 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 should just increase it. Um, and the rare chest riches event. When the hotfix rolls out today before 3 p.m. PST, a new event will be activated during the rare chest riches event, which runs until February 13th at 8:59 PST. All rare chests will drop rare loot at an increased rate, so you're more likely to receive legendary items at any time you open one. This increased drop rate will also apply when you watch a Twitch streamer's op Twitch watch a Twitch streamer open a rare chest, assuming both of you have the EchoCast Twitch extension enabled. Any rewards you score while watching streams will be waiting for you in game in the in the mailbox next to me. Play Borderlands Three. In case you haven't done so, click here to step by step guide for your linking your shift and stuff like that. So, if you link your shift and Twitch accounts, you can watch people watch people stream Borderlands Three and uh, get loot from their chests. Um, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so if you guys want to get some rare loot during this event, check that out. But that's the whole update. I'm really happy with the fact that they permanently scaled everything, and I think the rare spawn drop rates and stuff is a step in the right direction. But I do think that the anointment drop rate needs to be higher. And like it was during the farming frenzy, because there are so many anointments in this game in the game now, and they're only going to add more. That uh, it's just going to make it even harder as they add more anointments to get the one that you want. So, 
Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and found it informative, don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments what you think of the changes that they're making. If you like my content and want to see more, check out my Twitch channel and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and so YouTube shows you when I upload. You guys are all badasses. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.